Hey guys, welcome back to Sony Zautus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Vimeo for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So we all know that Vimeo is a platform for video sharing. But the great thing about Vimeo here is they don't only provide you a way to share your videos, but a way to record and even edit your videos. Well, in this case, what we need to do first is we need to visit their official website, which is going to be vimeo.com. Now, in their website, you should be able to see different information about the website itself. Like, for example, Video Simplify here, which in this case provides you a way to edit your videos and record your videos. So, they have a simple, quick, create, edit, and share content regardless, cinematic, controlled, and automated uh, way of creating videos. Now, you also have the option to record, as you mentioned here, and even make GIFs uh, later on. Now you have the option to edit and also manage and share. Now there are a lot of platforms that actually uses Vimeo. Like for example, we have WordPress, Hub HubSpot, GoDaddy, and a lot more. Now they also have the feature for like for example, video experience platform for video marketing, employee communications, virtual events, and even creative productions. Now you might be wondering, is this actually free to use with all those features that we mentioned before? Now at the top section, if you click on the pricing here, you should be able to see the current pricing for Vimeo. Now, there are going to be different tiers that you could get from for, from Vimeo. So that includes the Advanced at $65, Standard at $20, and Starter at $12. But the great thing about your platform is you could actually use it for free without paying anything on the platform itself. But the, the thing here is uh, since we are going to start using the free version, the features that you can access are going to be limited. So for the free version, you have one seat, one gigabyte of storage, creation and editing, screen recording and sharing and embedding. Now, if you want to access different uh, features that it offer, like for example, 100 gigabyte storage, custom URLs, custom video player, review and collaboration tools, and auto close optioning, well, captioning, you'll need to have the starter or the other plans that they have right now. But in this case, since we only want to start using for free, let's go and click on sign up. And from here, you have two options. So you have the option to manually enter your email or use your Google account. So in this case, I'm going to use my Google account. Let's go and click on continue with Google and choose our Google account here. Now in this case, let's go and click, click on continue here to proceed. And once we've done that, we should now be able to see our home screen. Now signing up is actually free here. So let's go and click on the X at the top right since we only want to use this for free. Now, as you can see, we just signed up and we already are in the uh, dashboard here. Now in this case, what are the things that we need to do here? So at the left panel, this is the main uh, sections of your account. So first is the homepage. So homepage contains the general information and general tools that you can actually use. Now we also have the library which contains different videos that you have. So you can organize them in folders or upload them in this section here. Now live events is from the name itself. Uh, you could actually do live streams or live events via this section here. But in this case, I think this is a, uh, a paid uh, uh, type of service. So if you want to use this, you need to pay for uh, the plan. Now, we also have these showcases here, which in this case, you could go ahead and create a custom side and then video playlist or even put your videos on TV. But in this case, we want to go to analytics here, which gives you some uh, information or details about how your videos are doing. Like for example, the number of views that you have, the impressions, the unique viewers, the regions that frequently view your video and the top sources here as well. Now you also have the view device report. Like for example, if a lot of people are viewing your uh, video on a phone, this is where you'll be able to see it and even tablet, desktop, or TV apps. Now you also have the total time watch here and average view duration. But in this case, you also have reports here. If you click on a specific one, you should be able to view specific information on that specific topic. But in this case, let's just go back one page here and we should be able to see the previous page, which in this case is our uh, UI here. Now, in this case, we also have the monetize here, which in this case enables you to monetize your content with your branded site and app. So in this case, you'll be able to earn via this um, a, a platform here or in Vimeo if you have monetized content. Now, I also have the capabilities of launching video in business, reach viewers on any device, and sell globally. Now, if you want to do this, you need to create your own site or just click on learn more to learn more about the uh, the monetizations that they have. 
Now, in this case, uh, you need to create your site here if you want to do that. But since we, this is just a beginner's tutorial, we'll be just uh, discussing the main features that we get access here. Now, at the very bottom, you should see the limit or the uh, storage that we have. So currently, this is, this is going to be zero since, it, since this is a fairly new account. So let's go ahead and go to home. Now, in the home section, you have the following. So you have the upload option. So it enables you to upload videos into your co uh, account here. So let's go ahead and click on upload here. Click on upload again. And once you've done that, we should be able to uh, basically choose whatever. So you have, again, upload, record, create, and event. So upload enables you to upload videos. Now, if you want to upload a video from different uh, uh, sources like Dropbox, Drive, or Box, Zoom, or whatever, you could go ahead and choose that. But for now, we want to go ahead and choose library here, choose a file and we want to upload our video so for example i want to use this video here that i have I click on open and from here it should start the upload process and once it's actually uploaded you'll have the option to change a few things like for example the title of that video description the thumbnail that you want to use content rating so maybe i want to say all audiences here and add tags to your video and video contains advertisements if you have any now also have the credits here so you need to click on credit yourself uh, for this one and uh, i'm from here maybe i want to say i'm going to be the editor i'm from here let's go ahead and click on save yeah also have the language and copyright here so maybe i want to say this is going to be a uh type of attribution or maybe a public domain dedication maybe in this case we have the recorded in 360 so if this is a recorded in 360 uh you could go ahead and indicate that in here in this case, once you provide all the details, what you need to do is you just need to uh, go to the privacy section here and uh, basically define uh, the following options here. Like for example, you have the people can add to showcases if you want to allow that. If you want to make this into private or public, you can go ahead and do that. And embed if you want to allow embedding. Now, once you've done editing your uh, video here, you could go ahead and click on the publish at the top, right? And you have the publish to social embed in mail, showcase, channel, and group. So may let's go ahead and click on publish to social. And you could go ahead and choose uh, whatever social that you want to share this to. Like for example, Facebook, YouTube, X, LinkedIn, or Shopify, or TikTok. Or you have the Facebook option here. You, need you just need to click on connect and just proceed with the login option. Now, in this case, uh, once you've pub uh, done that, you are now good. Now, by the way, if you want to edit your player, you could go ahead, go ahead and go to the left panel here. You have your player. And in this case, if you want to edit your player, you need to have the upgraded version of your uh, account here. Also, have the captions here if you want to add closed captions. And uh, yeah, also have interactive and edit if you want to edit this video uh, further. So yeah, so let's go ahead and go back to the previous page. As you can see, it's now in a library, but in this case, we want to try the other functionalities that we have. In this case, maybe I want to say I want to create a video here. Now, by the way, if you want to record something on your screen or in your webcam, you could go ahead and choose the record option here. Just click on allow to use your camera and microphone for you to start using it. And from here, you could go ahead and uh, basically customize it. Like for example, we want to uh, basically start your camera or start your uh, mute your microphone here if you want to. And uh, from here, you could go and share a screen here. Choose a screen that you want to use. Click on share. And you could just click, uh, basically click on start recording for you to actually start recording whatever you want to record. But yeah, so again, we want to access our other f functionalities that we could get here, which is the create option. So let's go ahead and click on create here. And once you click on create, you should be able to see the editor and start uh, editing videos. Now in this editor, the main UI is going to be the main look of this video. So if it's helpful, if you want to change the canvas color to black or gray here or to a specific color, you could do that. And in this case, you could go ahead and go to the left panel here, which includes all the video that you have. So for example, you could actually use this video here. So for example, I want to use uh, that video. So maybe I want to use uh, this one. And as you can see, we now have that video. So it's actually a pretty uh, simple timeline here. So if you want to split this video, once you've added that, you can go and click on that in, uh, video, click on split, to split that specific section. And if you want to delete something, you could go and select that video, click on delete. Now, if you want to add another video, you could go ahead and just go to uh, this section here. So let's just go back in here. And maybe I want to say I want to add a work from home video. And from here, maybe I want to use this one. Now, in this case, there are going to be layers. So in this case, when you actually uh, place something, like for example, I want to place it in here. I could actually manually resize my video itself. As you can see, we have this resize video now. 
Now from here, you could go ahead and do whatever that you want and even add text if you want to. Like for example, we want to add a headline here. Let's go ahead and drag it in here. Double click on this one. And from here, you could change the uh, text itself. So you could change the color, the fill color. So maybe I want to say change the color, the color itself, make it white to make it uh, more visible. And once you've chosen that, it should change and even change the high color if you want to. Now you could go ahead and change the font and the size for it and add graphics if you want to, like a smiley face in here. So I go and choose the social here and add a emoji here as in T. Now, by the way, uh, you could basically make sure that you align things here. So this is all layers. The, the layer that is in on the top one is going to be the most seen layer. So make sure if you want to make it sh uh, shine in your video, make it at the very top. Now, in this case, uh, there are going to be other options here like music, colors, brands, and a lot more. So before you start, in, start using it, I would suggest you to first explore what you can do here, like colors, music, and graphics. Now, if you want to upload your own like video, go ahead and click on upload here and basically choose a video or photo that you want to use. But yeah, so once you're done, just click on the save button at the top right to save your project. And in this case, it goes, it's going to start saving that and from here, you just need to add the title, description, and uh, same thing that we did before. But in this case, uh, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.